Hello, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Uh, today I'm just going to take you through the MetQ Bill of Materials Utilities. We'll be creating an office layout and then tabulating all the furniture. So here we have our Bill of Materials configuration which we'll need to set up first before we begin our project. Keep in mind that the configuration option is only available before you start your bomb. Here we can just simply enter in materials and different fields. Uh, the field types are here. Well, we can even do formulas, for example, to tabulate, let's say, a total cost to the project. You'll see here that the type field lists all the field types that you've selected in the pull down. Make sure that you have these two items turned on at the top, uh, and you can adjust different settings here in the right and left columns. We start our schedule by adding new items. Uh, here we'll enter a chair, for example. Okay, our scale is a little off here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and go down to the pull down to drawing scale and turn off the dim scale option and then choose our 3 8 inch, for example. So if you notice that your balloons are a little small, that's the reason why. So we're going to restart and add the chair. And here we can see that it's labeled at number one. And by the way, the bill material sequentially numbers each bubble. So you'll see here item two, for example. We'll add this new item and call it desk. And for our third item, the computer, we'll simply add this description here. Now we're ready to generate our table. So we choose the table option. And here we have our bill of materials. You'll notice quantity one of each. So let's take this chair and copy it and make some more chairs. And maybe add a desk. And simply copy the balloon down. One quick note, we'll need to type pick style, set that to zero to ungroup the object so that we can erase the leader. And then we'll bring a, a computer down as well. I should note that this general materials module is not meant to be used with the piping, structural, or ducting modules as they each have their own bill of materials. So we have a total of four desks and two chairs and two computers. So now let's run the, uh, the table again to refresh the table. And here you can see the results. Four desks, two computers, and two chairs. So I hope that clarifies the bill materials a, a bit more. And uh, feel free if you have any questions, uh, you can call us at 888-271-7121. Thanks and have a great day.